All right, so we got uh, Z and Rogue. Z Artis. Z Arise. I thought it was Artis. Well, it would have been better if it was Artis. Playing Charizard. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, apparently it's Charizard and Snake, even though it should be Squirtle and uh, Ganondorf. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't have the real. You don't think, uh... Yeah, that's not saying much. I mean, if the argument was that you can't, he, Sheik beats him, then, I mean, you know. So, is this hand yeah, or like I don't know, maybe. Plan? No, this, I think they're going right into it. Yeah. I mean, this is kind of weird. Yeah. This matchup in general is kind of weird, like Ganondorf Everything Squirtle. Everything does is weird. Yeah. Is that the no edge guard? So I think Rogue is going to try to search for those grabs and get something started. Although yeah, I I, I, I guess I agree with you, Gal. In all honesty, they're good enough to beat them, but not consistent. Yeah, but most people don't know the Zard matchup. Like, let's yeah. be honest. Like, there's like two car, there's two Charizards in Connecticut. Uh, I mean, in uh, in uh, the U.S. right now. Like, let's be real. The only other Charizard in the world is in like France. Yeah, it's Zen, I think. Yeah. All right, and even up stock. Um. Not really doing much of dash, and kind of just both standing in place. Trying to go for an up smash off that. Realistically, he should have just gone for the short up up there. Yeah, Mask and Kaisen. That's it. Z doing a really good, uh... Good job using the, uh... Yeah. He's good at keeping him out with the uh, bubble and uh, I don't know the other move. In all honesty, Rogue's doing a pretty good job of like um, understanding what he can really get off of the down throw situation. Like he's not trying to stretch for like down air off of it or anything. Uh, Vortex is still here. I think he's going to play a money match uh, in a bit. Also, Rogue's but, doing a really good job of just finishing off stocks, although we do have a... As you can see right there, he took a stock at, what, 15%? But that might have just been uh, Z running off stage. Yeah, I think that was just Squirtle SDs. It happens. F smash. He actually That's does grab ledge. Terrible DI, matters, but... but... Down air. Forward air. Confirm. Stomp for stomp is way more hype, but you know. I mean, stomp for stomp is way more hype, but he's trying to win the game. He's not trying to be super uh, show offy. Oh. Z, forgetting. I think he. I think he didn't have his jump. I think. Yeah. For, I think he thought he had a jump and just didn't. Yeah, it So happens. I kind of threw him off. Yeah. Meanwhile, everyone's getting hype over 64. Uh, in all due reality, I, I don't care about this money match. <laughs> in all honesty, I, I'd rather be over there watching Wavebird and Hotline play. Uh, uh, 64. But anyway, uh, game two. Oh. Nah, we good. We good. I'm, I'm trying to talk, but you, you're they're playing. Yeah. And I'm currently watching myself. There we go. All right. Yeah, you got it, man. Under my ass. Anyway. All right. So Z kind of. Who do I? Uh, I play uh, right now. I've been. I started off as Fox, but now I play. Um, now I play Pikachu, and I have a Fox in my pocket for every now and again. Although Captain Falcon is hyped too, so mostly I've been playing some Captain Falcon just to learn how to deal with Captain Falcon, and you know, I'm not sure that I really I'll, I'll agree with this pick. Gans Teacher Fox, um, do you know how to short hop? Uh, short hop laser. That's literally all you need. Uh, well, I mean, it's all it all depends on certain matchups. In all honesty, like and as long as Fox, is, can, Fox is mostly just like proper spacing. Like you play Fox in uh, 64, like you play Sheik in that's melee. Stock. In all honesty. It's just a lot of like spacing with aerials and just like comboing off drills into drill. You can uh, combo into like jab one into jab two into up smash, you know, because Z canceling is super good. Three frames. What up? All right. But yeah, um, yeah. Silver Alloy, if you guys are asking, he comes to every like melee event and CT and some PM events, but he's, you know, yeah, I can definitely say that too. That's why, like, when I was first learning the game, I gravitated towards him. But I mean, Pikachu offers a lot of like, Pikachu's uh, mobility is pretty good. Yeah, no, I, I hate Kirby. Kirby's so lame. But uh, I mean, some of the best players around here are uh, Kirby players. So, but we also have uh, we have another pretty good fox in Connecticut. His name is Gildo. He doesn't play as much, but uh, most of us have been training with Fire Blaster, so uh, oh. we're getting we're, we're getting pretty decent. In all honesty. 
Like, you know, that happens when you got uh, arguably top 10 in the U.S. training with you wow. constantly. But yeah. Speaking of uh, other 64 players, Rogue, I'll be here. Up two stocks against the Squirtle. Uh, yeah. I'm still kind of questioning the choice of uh, Wario Land. Yeah, it really doesn't make sense. Especially for, against someone like Ganondorf. Like you, especially yeah, Kirby a Squirtle. isn't the heaviest character, and Ganon has excellent kill options. If Kirby? Or you, you're, you were thinking Kirby because, you know. Yeah. The Squirtle... Yeah, I'm I'm liking I'll, it too. I'll keep trying to get the down air style. And now and now we got like a lot more people here uh, playing. Uh... All right, well that's a quick duo. Right. So, uh, is it two out of three or? Oh, best of five. Like a dollar. It's for a dollar. I don't care. Fine, one more match. Yeah. Well, I don't know where. Yeah, they're there. Uh, I think they went to Dreamland. Uh, I thought I saw PS2. Yo, can I get a... Uh, okay, yeah. PS2. Yeah, there we PS2. go. Oh, yeah, back to 64. Uh, <laughs> Bye. Bye, Golden. Alright, our head our head commentator's heading home. Because, you know, late night. Understandable. And I may actually just bail after this. Pineapple. Go to Denny's. But... Yeah, pineapple. <laughs> Z getting uh, the pineapple Tommy. Oh, Everyone else calls red. it the pineapple, oh. but I call it pineapple. Oh. It was a good follow-up. In all honesty, all you have to do is squirrel with edge guarding a Ganondorf, and you can just sit there and bubble the edge. Like bubble will work, especially if they're like anywhere slightly above the stage. They're just gonna, you know. Well, recovery is pretty good. Um, yeah, it covers itself really well. However, it's like a recovery like that is very exploitable from behind. Yeah. So like a character like Ganondorf could realistically just jump off stage, uh, fall behind him, back air him towards the stage, and unless that squirrel's really good at Tekken, they're probably gonna die. So. You don't really see Sun Vulcan doing that that much. Or, I mean, Rogue. But it's uh, purely because of la I I'd say it's probably because of lack of... Uh, who's leg? Yeah, we... You guys should come out to Gauntlet, in all honesty. Like, you guys keep coming out for Drizzen's events, and in all honesty, like, Drizzen does a pretty good job. But, uh... Oh, that's gonna be a nice edge guard. That's one of the few edge guards I've seen he do this game. Yeah, it's a... I think, it, I think he's one for one on actual uh, edge guards. Drizzen has that money where he's, you know, faking it. And like, and, oh, I just see, like, I don't know how he is even. Well, I mean, you're able to offer, you know, five hundred dollar pop bonus when you're charging people twenty five dollars for venue. And then you're basically paying for the pop bonus yourself. Like, in all honesty, uh, tries to go for the forward air again. Yeah, he was trying to punch the recovery there, but it was just a little bit too late, and he was already too high. Yeah, like, and that's gonna be the know. set. 